Check out my little fire. Make tiny. My wood's kind of wet. Having a hard time catching. But yeah, I'm home. In my backyard. Just been thinking about my brother, Jamie. It's coming up on 11 months since he went missing. Nine months since we found him deceased in the beaver pond. And I just want to mention how my healing journey is going. Comes in waves. Grief and trauma. Not a good combination. But thankfully, Thankfully, I have a lot of faith in my creator and my spirit family is always going to be around. But at the time, even just looking back, like when Jamie first went missing, all the places we checked and how much wood and bush we covered on foot to look for him. And how hot it was. And how I had to leave work to keep looking for him. And had to take time off to try to put my feelings together. And but like I said, the spirit family pulled through and helped us out a big time. And prayers and help and guidance from their family and communities. Prayers with when one pray for or when a thousand pray for one. Our families, we feel that it matters, it helps. I didn't get nightmares, which I'm thankful for. I did wake up with a lot of uh, panic at first when Jamie first went missing and we were searching for him for probably uh, three to four weeks. I would wake up in a panic to want to go and hit the woods and put up posters or the next plan, the next mission. Always so eager. Hard. It's crazy. And I'm so glad I'm not feeling that right now. My chest literally hurt. Literally hurt. And all the signs from Jamie, my creator. For a while, every time I would look at Jamie's uh, memorial spot in my living room, it was just hurting my heart. But then I would be happy that we found him and brought him home. Eleven months. Any loss is tragic. But you know what? Because we never gave up on Jamie in the beginning or even now. And being in the bush and being back home and all, you know, in the homeland, being around family and friends and fake friends and putting all the stories and rumors and 
trying to make everything add up and put a lot of stuff. We're family pretty much solved Jamie's death. We know where it happened. We know what night. We know who was all there. You know, the cops didn't take us serious. They even showed up at my mom's a couple days after we already put the collar with Jamie was missing. We're looking for him. The cops showed up at my mom's asking for Jamie. It's like, yeah. My mom had to tell them we're the ones who put the call out that we're looking for him. Such a slap in the face. Pissed me off, but we're too busy being in the woods and in the bush and trying to keep track of our path and our trail of where we already been and where we already searched. Can't believe that the whole family, I can't believe we all been through that. With my kids and we are all, all our siblings. Like we're all carrying around this trauma of Jamie's passing. But we're also showing strength and resilience because we're never going to stop asking questions. We're never going to stop until we get justice. Oh, we really went hard to look for him. Jeez, I love Jamie. He's such a cute, funny little younger brother. I miss guiding him and I miss helping him and I miss just being able to chill and text him. And but he still pulls through for me. Even in spirit. He gives me signs when I'm asking and I'm struggling. And I love it and I appreciate that. No, your spirit families never really leave you. They're always around. And I've been to hospitals and watched, you know, my aunties pass. And they're old. And just creators calls them home. I understand that. I get it. I don't like it. But I also know there's a spirit world and everyone we ever lost is up there. And I think I'm in a sad fire now. Just, um, oh, show us the fire back up. I think my wood's a little damp. Boo! Yeah, grief and trauma. Ooh. It wasn't for my family and I was even telling my husband sometimes I feel like I sound like a broken record. Because I talk about it all the time. Or I want to. But pray for the justice, pray for the day that everybody that's on that list it's taken into and held accountable. They legit watched my family and friends search for Jamie and they did nothing. His only mess up was that he thought we stopped. But you know, like even searching for Jamie and stuff and hearing the rumors and the talk. We made this code with 
or search for your own family. Not to go out there by yourselves. You know, always take somebody with you because you just never know. You just never know. And sometimes, like, you don't want to see something horrible by yourself. And it's hard to explain where you already switched to your friends and family. That was, that was the first one. Not to go alone. Second one was that we were going to stop posting and sharing on media where we've been. Because I was a little suspicious about everybody. I blocked a few people on my Facebook at the time because I don't want nobody to know what we were doing or where we were going except that. We were just going hard looking for Jamie. There's probably about five, six people that I blocked. Because I didn't want them to know where whereabouts or what we were doing. Because I had my suspicions. And now we're still like 11 months waiting for, for answers. Just... Don't get me wrong, sitting around after finding Jamie's not not so bad. But when he went missing two and a half months just waking up and wanting to be on the go and looking for him. <clears throat> I don't know how long it takes to build a habit, but it took me a while to stop looking in places whenever I was driving or walking, like in places, anywhere, in the bush or under a tree or logs, or just always found myself looking for a while after. And then I have to remind myself that we found Jamie. I don't have to do that anymore. It took a long time. To always keep reminding myself I don't have to do that. I don't have to look. You know. Enjoy the view. See the see the beauty in life. And then always reminding myself that we brought Jamie home. He's with our creator. He's happy. He's safe. Now he gets to watch and guide us from the other side. I mean, that even kind of makes me laugh because now he'll never miss a milestone ever <laughs> of ours. <laughs> like, oh, Joey graduated. I know Jamie was there with us watching that. I know he'll be there for when my daughter dies and Kelly's kids. Oh, her wedding. Jamie will be there. And our other spirit family will be there also. I miss him so much. I have good days, bad days. Like, I'll be good for three days. And I'll think of Jamie and not cry. I'll smile. And then... Next thing you know, that I wake up next day and it's just, I'm so sad and so maddening. And then I just gotta put more tobacco down and sage and prayers up. And try to enjoy the small things in life. Try to keep going. Trauma, I hate grief. But you know what? This wet wood ain't helping either. 
Maybe if my fire was going a little more, it probably feels a little better. <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes I'm good, sometimes I'm not. I even have uh, Jamie's big sign when he went missing. Our community got these big signs, like huge. And they put them up at each, each entrance of PEI. And we had one here in Abbott and one in Lennox Island just before you go hit Lennox, actually. There's these big signs, like, missing Jamie Sark, Lennox Island. All this information. So we grabbed the one that was in Abbott after Jamie was found. I'm gonna put it in my basement and it's huge. Now, when I when I would do laundry, I would see it and sometimes I wouldn't I didn't want to even look that way, but I would look over and acknowledge the pain and the sadness of everything and you know, I'd have a moment. And then I would think like what my brother would say. But he's always going to be around. He's sad that we're going through this. But he'll always be around to help us and guide us. And then I even kind of chuckled because I was like, you're, you're right. You have no excuse not to be here now. And it just calmness came over me. It took a long time for that. And then I, I made another post there and I said that and I just cut out the missing part and said found. Rest in peace. Justice for Jamie. Man, such a beautiful night. Stars are just twinkling up there. Oh, there's also a, there's also a few songs that trigger me. When, when I was looking for Jamie, I would go back to my mom's <clears throat> and um, my sister, she has autism. And she has this radio in the room, and it's always going. And this one song always came on, and it just felt like every time I went back to mom's rest or chill or go to bed, and it was the number one song. It was a good song, don't get me wrong. This guy's an awesome magician, and but I just heard the song all the time when I was home after looking for Jamie in the woods. So now when I hear it, it just brings me right back to thinking about when we're looking for Jamie in the woods and going through all these scenarios and replaying the stories and then I have to catch myself and most of the times I just shut the radio off or turn it down or something, just, it's a trigger for me, there's a few songs, which suck, because I love my music, hopefully that goes away soon, that is a good song, it is, Bad Habits. That's right. August 2021. It was number one in the chart, I'm pretty sure, because they played it a lot in the radio. And Jesse loved it. Mm, what else is good, though? Like, uh, whenever I see an eagle or something... 
Feel the peace of nature and wild animals. Oh, it fills my heart. Getting back to work and seeing all the children I cook for, that fills my heart. Slowly, slowly trying to get my life back. Try not to be so sad about stuff and when I start feeling the way like anxiety or sadness or triggered, I really have to sit there, take a moment, realize how I'm feeling, acknowledge it. And let it pass. Let it pass. Switch the mood. But I always let it out. When I start feeling overwhelmed. Or too sad. Or I'm missing. I'm missing Jamie. And I'm heartbroken about what happened to him. I let it out. A good 10, 15, 20, 30 minute cry. However long it takes. Yep, acknowledge that sadness it has every right. And everything you feel is normal. And I pray and uh, Jamie just helps me out. <laughs> and even my gram, my family, our creator. And then I I put some music on or a funny show. Try to snap myself out of it because you don't want to stay down. You don't. I don't belong down there. I, I can feel like that. I can have a moment like that. And I don't care how long I have these moments for it, but it's only going to last for less than an hour. And Get back up and keep trying. Keep shining. That's what you gotta do these days. Keep shining. Keep being good to others. Don't judge anybody. Just, it's their life, it's their path. If they ask for advice, give them advice, guidance. But don't judge. That's not, that's not for us to do anyway. <clears throat> we all get judged at the end of our time, so why are we thinking we're those kind of people that have the right to judge others and their actions and their path in life? Everybody's different. Everybody's in their life for a reason. Life teachings. I said the same like when Jamie passed away and us searching for him and us finding him. Like I said that. I was like, what is my what is my lesson in all this? How am I gonna flip this over and make it something good? So it never ever happens again. Right? What's going to happen? That fire just got brighter. I am going to take all those pain meds and prevent the next person feeling like this. Or helping them while they're going through it. But it's so freaking nice out right now. Just me and my son home. My husband and daughter are all in New Brunswick with his family due to a passing of a family member. I was going to go, but my son works all week, eight hour days, so he's not going to be able to be home with the dogs. My small dog, Copper, has, like, anxiety. He hates being alone. 
because he makes a mess. Nobody pays attention to him. And I don't want to worry about them. I feel I felt bad staying home too because I wanted to show support and I don't even know if I'm ready for that too. See somebody else's casket out and family members broken. I hate grief. I also pray for justice for that family. It was an accident. But the person who caused it left the scene. I should have just called for help. Like the same thing that happened to Jamie before it was too late. Somebody should have just called for help or helped him. I'm gonna say this. The night that Jamie was at our cousin's house party, and then we left there, and somehow he ended up down at the man shelter. And somebody that lives around that area heard somebody yelling for their life. And they called the cops. The cops came down to Lennox, went and talked to that person. She said where she heard it coming from and everything. And they said it's too dark and left. I was like mind boggled when I heard that. Like, okay, but oh, it's too dark. We're just gonna leave. Uh, so mad. And even that, that was, like, man, we had so many red flags. Keep looking for Jamie. That was another one. Right. Brought my home, brought my bro home. All was good. I know he's not gonna freaking leave us hanging this long. We had a freaking cops would do. They didn't take us serious when we said he was missing. Crazy. But they're taking us serious now, right? And they better because they messed up so much. He's just going, it's too nice. Yes. I had to put on some bug repellent to sit out here though. Mosquitoes are bad. But all freaking PEI life. Mosquito Central all up in her. And even that, like, how oh, even that became a trigger for me. Like, when the way, when spring came and the mosquitoes started coming back out. Putting off on, oof. Because when we were searching for Jamie in August, there was nothing but mosquitoes and horseflies and blue. Don't get me wrong, we saw a lot of other cool, like, oh. We seen this little bird sleeping under a leaf. Cutest thing ever. But there was a lot of mosquitoes, so we always had to put off on. <clears throat> oh. The bird beginning when the mosquitoes start coming out and I would spray myself out, it just, oh. That take me right back to doing that before we hit the bush. Uh, yeah, so it's probably been two, not even two months. I had to start wearing off being outside. If I wanted to enjoy a fire or do anything. Yeah, it takes time to try to break some habits or 
I don't even know if that's broken trauma, but it's, it's kind of hard to, to snap out of that. And redirect your thinking. It's hard to redirect your thinking when times come like that. But it's doable. Because we I had to book him off on, I had a little moment I thought of my bro, but hey, I'm good now, we're in the middle of a bonfire. Not such a trigger anymore, not as bad as it used to be. Still haven't walked in the woods. Nope. I'm in the Jamie spot a few times, but... Never actually, I don't ever think I ever will ever again unless it's important. I don't think I'll ever go back searching in the woods like I did for my brother until I fully heal and can do it. You know what? I want to do that too, you know? I thought about that when Jamie went missing. Because after two and a half to three months, even me and my sister were still looking in the woods. After we found Jamie, where we found him, we were searching around, we were looking for evidence. We were down looking for evidence at the man shelter, where the incident happened. On Christmas Day. No, we weren't stopping. We knew something was up. I just can't wait till I wake up to that phone call. We got them. We got them all. I just can't wait. It's going to be a good day. No, well, waking up any day is a good day. Really. I give thanks when I wake up. I give thanks when I go to bed. Even after all that struggle. Still. Give thanks. Pray. Oh, my uncle used to always say, tomorrow's never promised. Now that I'm older, yep. I get that saying. So always enjoy today. Always enjoy right now. Enjoy your moment. Be the biggest, happiest person out there. Spread your light. I'm slowly getting my own back. Took a while. Still am dealing with it. But only I can keep myself in that darkness. And I don't. And I refuse. No, I'm going to take this major loss and tragic and heal and flip it and help somebody else out. Keep shining. Be a good role model. Hey. Peace out.